Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be looking at the first part of our exploration into the print production tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So part one, today we're just going to cover output preview, pre-flight, converting colors, and flattening out the document. So let's get into it. So output preview. This is where we're, going to, where we're going to be doing most of our work in print production. So just for those, for those of you who aren't really familiar, print production, this is, more, this is more serious than just, you know, getting, making something look nice for your office printer. This is a tool designed for professional, the professional world of printing. So like printing presses, mi making magazines, stuff like that. And although I am not a printer, so I'm not the number one authority on this sort of matter, lots of printers have various different, there's lots of different color profiles that you can, that will look better on certain printers. So you can adjust like a lot of these options and they all look a bit different right there. And additionally, there's some additional options you can select here. So you can simulate overprinting like that. You can simulate the paper color because, you know, within in real life, the document will not be just pure white. It'll have a bit of a color to it. Mm -hmm. You can also simulate that black ink will show up a bit differently when on print than within the document. It'll show a bit, a bit more paler. So that's how that works. And then over here in this little show box, so the various graphics that make up the page, they'll fall under various kinds of categories or color palettes. So for example, none of what we see on the first page is will fall under device CMYK. CMYK being CN, magenta, yellow, and black. But if we select not CMYK, then there you go. It's all, it all falls under that on the first page. Similarly, we can, we can go down the list list like this. We can look at text only, line art only, which there is none, images, smooth shades, RGB, CMYK. That's basically the whole gist of that. You can just select all, what elements what content in the page falls under which palette, which category, and depending on what you have in this show dropdown, if you move your mouse over, so look down here in the separations, if you move your mouse over, you can see what proportions, the what colors make up of whatever your mouse is on. So over here, it's pretty blue in the Meridian Inc. logo, so as you, can, as you might suspect, it's 67% CN, but it was 67%. Yeah, there it is, 67% CN and 14% magenta. So, and you could, that'll just apply depending on what you have selected in the show dropdown. Yep, that's pretty much it for that tool. Uh, Preflight we've covered in the past. This is more applicable for, you know, saving as PDFX because PDFX, as you recall, is PDF exchange, so graphical exchange. So this is the kind of document you will be printing if you're a professional printer of documents. We have a basic edit object tool so we can move stuff around if we'd like. We can convert some colors. So for the entire document, we can select from objects, so such as any object or just images or just text, just line art. We can select from those kinds of groups. So you can just convert any sort of object. You can promote this to black. Mm -hmm. So that's the stuff, some stuff you can do within the Convert Colors tool. Flattener, so basically here is what here is you can do, you can apply and define some flattening settings to a document with various options pertaining to the quality, so 1200 ppi for line art, 300 ppi for gradient and mesh. A lot of this stuff may sound Greek to you, but, and to be quite honest, unless you're doing professional printing. You don't need to know about all this stuff, but it's good to know as an expert in Acrobat. And lastly, we can save as a PDFX, which we've covered before in the PDF standards and in the last video where we covered pre-flight. But that's pretty much all there is to it for our, the first part of our exploration into pre production. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll get into the second little bank of tools over here. But until then, take care, everybody.